1964, Delia Derbyshire of the BBC's famous radiophonic workshop and the dramatist Barry Bermonge created a series of programmes in which people recalled their dreams of falling. Somehow I started to accelerate, gather speed, and I accelerated more and more and more. My head was down. I was speeding downwards into some great pit. Dreams of falling seem to be universal. Ian Wallace is a dream psychologist. The falling dream is, is one of the most common dreams. It's actually the seventh most common dream in my experience. And the way the falling dream happens, it usually seems to happen without any warning. Everything seems normal in the dream and under control. And then you might feel your legs give way or you might trip over something like a curb or something. Or you might find yourself plunging down some stairs or plummeting off a sheer cliff into a deep chasm or gorge. And there seems to be nothing at all you can do to prevent the fall. You might be scrabbling for things, but you keep falling and falling and falling. And then you suddenly stop as you hit the ground. There's an old wives' tale, which is just crazy, that if you hit the ground in a falling dream, then you'll die. But again, like many misconceptions about dreaming, it's just nonsense. Speeding downwards. Sinking, sinking into this great black void. Reeling down into a sort of chasm reeling down into, into a sort of great big hole. And the main words that people use, they talk about falling into the abyss or falling into a dark void. The abyss is forever looming. 